Yo, 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 it's your boy Gabe. We're back again with another video. What is going on my athletes? It's your boy Gabe, we're back again with another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about this uh, muscle recovery that I used, it's called GNC Pro Performance Essential Amino Complete. All right, as you guys can see, I don't normally use things like this if you know me, but I went to the GNC shop with my friend Will. Uh, the guy recommend I give this a shot, so I was like, okay, why not? I'll give it a shot. I'll do a review on it. I'll see, I'll, I'll see if it really works for me or not. So today, this video is gonna be basically about all the words back here that literally makes no sense to me some of it all right um i know there's a lot of people out there who who looks at the front of any product and they see the words like muscle recovery supports recovery replenishes electrolyte fuels muscles and you're like okay well all right should i believe this but then there's a bunch of stuff on the back with these big words that we just you know we don't know the meaning of which is fine you know what I'm saying? This is the world. There's a bunch of things in this planet that you don't know. You just gotta do your research, uh, get the definition, or see how it could work with the human body. And then you'll be able to determine if it benefits you or if it doesn't. So that's what this video is gonna be about today. So uh, stick around and we'll get to the bottom of this uh, muscle recovery uh, amino acid complete product from GNC. All right, so I have my laptop here. I got Google Chrome open. We're going to start on the front. Our first word is amino acids. So we're going to search up amino acids and we're going to see how uh, it benefits us. And we're going to try to dumb it down, you know, so like the normal person can basically understand what this means because this is a big word. I'm going to be real with you. It's a big word. All right, amino acids. What are amino acids? Amino acids are a group of 20 organic compounds that share specific formation traits. They are known as the building blocks of proteins in plants and animals. Amino acids play a role in almost every system throughout your body, including assisting in creation of growth of muscles, connective tissues, and skin. It assists in maintaining muscle tone and tissue strength. It assists with healing and repair, it assists with your normal digestion system. It provides energy for your body, it regulates moods by helping produce hormones, it produces neurotransmitters. That's a big word. I don't know what that means. They could at least dumb it down for us, but still. All right, you, could, you guys can Google that if you want to. And it maintains healthy skin, hair, and nails. There's another section here that says who can benefit from amino acids. Uh, since amino acids help build protein change and play a supporting role in almost every part of our bodies, everyone could benefit from amino acids. All right, cool. It increases tolerance to pain during exercises so that athletes can push themselves further during training. Okay, that's good. It modifies the way body perceives fatigue, prolonging how long athletes can perform before fatigue sets in. It's also huge. It decreases the duration of recovery from overtraining. It improves immune functions for less frequency of illness and infection. It, it improves performance in aerobic training. It supports blood flow and improved endurance. And it improves the development of lean muscle mass and overall strength. All right, so all these are good things that we can benefit as humans. With the next word, it's BCAAs. And I'm on this website where it shows five proven benefits of BCAAs. BCAA stands for branch change amino acids. There are about 20 different amino acids that make up thousands of different proteins in the human body. Nine of those 20 are considered essential amino acids, meaning they cannot be made by your body and must be obtained through your diet. One of the nine essential amino acids, three are the branch chain amino acids, BCAAs, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. I think I said that wrong, but I got it spelled out for you guys. It actually says it on the back right here. And it has it, the amount of grams that it has in the back, which is good, all right, it's good. But these are some big words and you know, we gotta break it down. So how does uh, BCAAs benefit the human body, okay? It increases uh, muscle growth, it uh, decreases muscle soreness and it reduces exercise fatigue and it prevents muscle wasting and it uh, benefits people with liver disease. Okay, that's um, that's not bad. Okay, that's something that we all need. And there is another word called EAA 
and I don't know if that's an amino acid, but we're gonna figure out right now. Okay, so EAA are essential amino acids. So essential amino acids are basically amino acids that cannot be made from our body. So we have to eat certain things like this um, in order to get them. That's basically what it means. Okay, so that is uh, it for the front. And now we go ahead to the back. Get scary back here, man. Get scary back here. All right, so we're going to start off with calories, okay? Um, and it says the calorie is a unit of energy widely used in nutrition. I'm still confused. I'm going to be real. Okay, so we're going to find a different definition because that doesn't really dumb it down for us. So what is a calorie in food? When people talk calories in food, what do they mean? A calorie is a unit of measurement. Okay, but it doesn't measure weight or length. Calorie is a unit of energy. When you hear something contains 100 calories, it's a way of describing how much energy your body could get from it, eating or drinking. Okay, I hope that kind of makes sense to you guys uh, because everything we eat or drink has a calorie except if you're drinking non-calorie drinks, water, but mostly everything you eat, like a solid, will have a calorie in it. Um, okay, so now we're gonna look at carb carbohydrates. Carbs are one of the main three classes of foods and a source of energy. Carbohydrates are uh, mainly sugars and starches that the body breaks down into glucose, a simple uh, sugar that the body can use to feed its cells. All right, that's what glucose means. It's a simple sugar that the body can use to feed itself. Um, and that's basically what carbs means. You basically you need carbs. It gives our body energy to continue to do our daily activities and work out. So if you're working out, you're working out hard, it's good to have some carbs in your system. All right, so another word is vitamin B. All right, actually it says vitamin B6. What does that mean? I have no clue, but we're about to find out. So vitamin B, also known as prideoxide. I don't know if I said that right, but um, it helps the body to use and store energy from protein, carbohydrates, and food. Uh, the body form, ooh, this is a big one. This one is hemoglobin, oof. The body form hemoglobin, globulin, I think I said that right. Uh, it's a substance in red blood cells that carries oxygen around the body. You know, I'm not claiming to be no fitness whiz or anything like that. There's some words I just don't know the definition of, and I'm sure you don't either. So we're gonna break it down together. And if if I go over any of these words and it still doesn't make sense to you, you can probably Google it and get a better understanding of it because I'm gonna be real, some of these words I still I still don't get. I should have paid attention in a wellness class a lot more. Live than you learn. Okay, so this next word is called chloride. So uh, chloride. Chloride is one of the most important electrolytes in the blood. It helps keep the amount of blood inside and outside of your cells in balance. It also helps maintain proper blood volume, pr blood pressure. Chloride is important because um, you don't want high blood pressure. Sodium. My understanding of sodium, before I get the definition, is salt. Salt holds water, so we're gonna find the, the definition of sodium. So sodium is a mineral found in uh, the most foods that we eat. The largest source of dietary sodium comes from sodium chloride or table salt. Intake of sodium tends to increase the retention of water. Okay, so basically, the higher the sodium, the more water your body holds. So if you're trying to cut weight, um, I would lower the sodium. Okay, last but not least, potassium. So potassium is a mineral that your body needs to work properly. It is a type of electrolyte. It helps your nerves uh, to function and muscles to contract. It helps your heartbeat stay regular. It also helps uh, move nutrients into cells and waste products out of cells. Okay, so potassium is very good for you. So I've been using this thing for about two weeks and I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep it a buck with everyone. I'm not gonna sit here and say, yeah, I feel a difference. I'm gonna be real, I don't feel a difference, but it could be working like internally. Maybe I don't feel it, maybe I do. I don't know, I still feel sore, but if it's working, it's working, I just don't feel it. All right, um, it says usage benefits in the back. Uh, you got to use during your workouts, post-workouts, and non-training days. So I use, I take a water bottle, I take a scoop, I put it in, and um, I'll, I'll take two water bottles, okay? And I'll do that with both. I basically drink a bottle of this while I work out, and after I work out, I'll drink another bottle. All right, that way I can get all these nutrients in my body. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to sit here and say it, it doesn't work. Hey, it probably does. I'm going to be honest. It probably does. I just personally don't, 
you know feel it yet maybe because it's only been two weeks I, I don't know would I recommend this yes because they wouldn't be selling this if it doesn't work I'm gonna be honest there is some truth behind this we broke down some of these big behind words some of these things I knew I just didn't you know new to the T if you know what I'm saying but I hope this video helped anyone who is confused by some of these big words on the back, okay? The next time you're in a wellness class, pay attention because you might learn a thing or two. So that'll be it for this video. Um, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. That's one underscore more 97. Make sure you guys follow the apparel page. That's OM97 underscore apparel. Um, I'm dropping some t-shirts. I'm dropping the hoodie that you guys saw me in uh, in the beginning of the video. That will be my last drop of 2020. And next year I'll come out with some more some more cool stuff uh give this video a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and that's it we out